Hello everyone. I welcome you all to Simply Code. In the last two sessions, we have discussed what is CSS and the CSS color property. In this session, we'll discuss how you can set the background image on your web page. We'll see the several properties related to background image and how you can use them to customize the image around the web page. So without further delay, let's get going. So let's begin by discussing about the background property of the CSS. The background image property specifies an image to use as a background of an element. The background is defined in the body element of the HTML code. To add a background image on an HTML element, use the HTML style attribute and the CSS background image property and mention the path of the image inside the URL attribute. There are several properties of the background that are used to define the image on a page. Some of the common ones are background image, background repeat, and background position. By default, the image is repeated so it covers the entire element. Let's switch to the text editor and see how we can add the background image to our page. So we are on the sublime text editor. Let's start by opening a style tag. The background image is always set on the body tag. So type body and open the curly braces. The background image is always set on the body tag. So open the body tag with curly braces and start typing background image. Use the URL value of the background image to set the path of the image. Make sure the image is in the same folder as of the HTML file. Here we have our file nature3.jpg. So mention the path inside the double quotes. Save the file and let's see how it looks on a web page. As you can see, we have the image on the web page. Let's format this image a little bit. We'll start by setting the background size. So type background size. And there are three values to the background size. First one is auto. It will set the image as it is. Save the file and let's see how it looks on a page. As you can see, the size of the image is as same of the original size. The color value will set the image size that will be fit to the web page. As you can see, the image is set to the whole web page. We can also set the image size to manual. Let's say we want the image size of width 500 pixels. So, now as you can see, the width of the image is 500 pixels. Next, we will set the background repeat property. There are three values to background repeat. First is no repeat. With the no repeat value, the images will not be repeated on a page. Now, as you can see, the images are not repeated. Second is repeat x. It will set the images to be repeated on the x axis. As you can see, the images are not repeated on the x axis. Similarly, repeat the images on the y axis. As you can see, the images are now repeated to the y-axis and there is a default value repeat which will repeat the images on the web page. So let's keep it to cover. So let's keep the background size to cover and set the background repeat to no repeat. Let's save the file and look it on a web page. Now as you can see, the image is fully fit to the web page. Let's add a text above our image to see how it looks like. So I'll add a paragraph tag and type some random text here. Let's set the text color to red and align it to center. I'll type P and open the curly braces. I'll set the color to red. And I'll set the text align to center. Let's save the file and see how it looks on a page. As you can see, we have a text above our image which is centrally aligned and the text color is red. I hope this video was informative for you. If yes, do share and like the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss an update. With this, I thank you all 
and again happy learning